Hey guys, welcome to Testing Academy and in this video we will basically discuss about automation interview question and answers for 2 to 5 years of experience. This is very very important video guys where I will discuss about what are the expectation from you as a uh, if you have experience right 2 to 5 years experience what are the major expectation from a automation engineer point of view and I'm going to go through the 5 important question that I personally go through and trust me these are very important question and uh, I think most of the time you will face these kind of questions in your automation interview. All right. And so watch till the end and you can watch the video in 1.5x for better understanding. Right. And in the end, I'm going to share a couple of links for more references. All right. So let's get started. All right, guys. So let me make myself a little smaller. Right. Uh, so I think we now uh, we have the proper mind map so this mind map guys it's already available in the description so you can download it and it contains lots of references as well as videos that you need to watch to basically get the answer of these videos okay i will also discuss about the answers but you will get more uh, detailed answers in the up upcoming videos i mean on the videos mostly all right so first of all i have given you this instruction right let's understand the expectation from the automation tester all right cool so what exactly is the expectation from a automation engineer with two plus years of experience? So right, let me pull up my uh, my favorite tool, which is uh, my micer, and let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, now pay attention to this, guys. This is very important. Uh, you need to learn. So basically, since it's an automation, it's an automation related interview question, right? It it's a uh, where you need to have some automation knowledge so make sure you pay attention to your programming so how i have done is i have basically prepared for the core java so i have prepared it the core java where i was best just revising the concepts right you need to learn about the collections because people generally ask questions related to hash map hash table and hash uh, hash related things right so they will basically ask you a couple of questions from this uh, so make sure you pay attention to this collections as well as the core java right of course you need to know page object model as it, if you have a two plus experience now page object model form is expected from you guys so pay attention to this and i would suggest you to do a project okay do a project basically means watch you can watch, you can do the 30 days of selenium challenge in the end we have done some work right we have created a framework you can basically create that framework on weekends whenever you have a time and put it into your github profile so that hrs as well as any hiring manager can look into it i have told many times that people generally look for it now you need to know the design patterns also but here is a catch you as a automation tester at least you should know about them but probably you will not able you will not uh, use it much okay for example you singleton singleton page factory or page object model right these thing three things are enough for you to get started i would suggest all right and the second point is automation knowledge right automation knowledge basically here three things are very important the first one is basic knowledge of selenium right and knowledge of selenium is important guys because after two plus years we are here where you need to know these things because you know you should know locator strategies how you can find the XPath or a CSS selector, do some Selenium projects, know how Selenium work, works in your project. For example, if you are joining any company, how Selenium works in your company, right? How basically you have used Selenium automation framework and all, you should know it. This is very, very important for, especially for the experienced people, guys. And make sure you are well aware of the API testing, Maven basics, test ng, and execution and maintenance of the framework. So these are important concepts that you should know. Now, Point, no, point another point is basically let me scroll down a little bit right you should know these two things also which is basically manual testing pay attention to your manual testing also because people generally in even in the automation interview right sometimes they will ask you question related to manual testing to test it out that you should you know manual testing concepts or not okay now projects related like ci cd make sure you have a basics of git pull how to pull a branch push a branch commit and branches if you need help in this case type help in the comment so make sure you type help in the comment i will create a very intensive or you can say very to, uh, important tutorial for a git for a testers perspective only okay if you know if you want that right now just type it out git or help anything in the keyword okay 
so jenkins basics and the framework basics so these thing you should know uh, before starting out so these are kind of expectation from a automation tester now let's move the five important question which are really really important and pay attention to this I, i will go through them very quickly but what you can do is the solution is provided into a dedicated video also so you can go through the video after this and prepare yourself okay so these are the video that i'm creating guys this is very very helpful for you when you are you have any interview coming so make sure you bookmark them keep it inside somewhere where you can look after some time whenever you have an interview all right let's move the first one which is really important guys really really important question which is explaining your product product uh, project structure basically whatever the selenium framework that you have created whatever the api automation framework that you have created right explain the structure for it as well as explain where you have contributed to it really important really important and i have created an extensive video around it if you know uh, let's uh, open up this thing so first of all let me explain in a very simple manner okay so that you remember this thing easily here what we have is basically if you see we have a uh, a maven project first of all it's a maven project where we have test test folder and a main folder right in main folder we have something called as uh, com dot uh, your website or zoho for for zoho we have automated this so here is your page structure basically where you have utils page objects base and resources so you need to tell them that i will keep my page objects here these are the utils for example if i want to use date util or a string parser or something base is somewhere where i have have a common functionalities and resources where i will keep my test data or i will keep my test data separately that you need to now in the test test one you can say that i have a base test and a and a normal test cases so base test basically means before method after method and what i am doing before or afterwards this contains there it is it is generic one and the test cases that you have so test cases are calling the page objects and they are executing something and we are running test cases so this is how you need to explain them properly okay now here is the link of the video where you need to watch right now so uh, let me open this and if you go here which is basically how to explain a test automation framework in an interview with two plus example i have given the link also in the description or you can go to note down this link and this video you need to watch because it contains if you see it has almost uh, more than 2 lakh uh, views so make sure you watch this video because this contain how to properly explain your automation interview to a interviewer and trust me it works very very fine my almost like 200 plus students uh, benefited from this i mean this is really really helpful okay now uh, another important question that generally people ask is about the page object model so make sure you pay attention where uh, you need to tell them that we have a pages right pages are being called by the test methods test classes okay so page object classes are basically called by the module classes or you can say a uh, test classes okay so this is important and you can you need to explain them what exactly it is in you utils and how you are using your listeners everything is present in the video so make sure you do that note down just note down this okay let's move on i hope this is clear guys right and if you are interested in watching the part 2 of this series where i will keep on going where i will introduce next five important questions i will ask my friends also type part 2 in the comment so that i know that you want this video this kind of videos okay